Well, greetings one and all, and welcome back to another video with your host, Andrew. Today, you join me for a very special review of what is a very special pen made here in England. And I'd like to present to you the Noto Magna Classic. So let's get on with unboxing this and we'll see what we've got. for very generously loaning this pen for review. It will be sent back shortly and I have thoroughly enjoyed using it. So let's talk about the contents of the box because this is quite the tour de force of what you actually get. So we're gonna actually cut over to the table and we're gonna have a look at this in more detail. So join me over in the next section. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before we actually get on with the actual contents of this pen. I just thought it'd be quite worth talking a little bit about um, the history of Anoto as they are a very near and dear company to the UK. So Anoto was founded in 1905 and they closed shop in 1958. So you're probably thinking about, well, how are they back here today? Well, I'll get onto that in a moment. So in their really prestigious history, people such as Field Marshal Douglas Haig and Prime Minister Winston Churchill, as along with many other famous people such as Florence Nightingale, Edgar Wallace and Natsumi Siyoki, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, which was a, a Japanese novelist in the Meiji area. Uh, again, Japanese is not my foray. They basically uh, were very prominent sound figures, which are no, used in Noto pens. So that was really fascinating. Then in 2005, they sprung up again. And here we go in the second iteration of Anoto. So if you would like to check out a full history of Anoto, I would suggest maybe going to Anoto's website and there's some really good detailed information on there. Okay, so what we have here is the Anoto Magna Classic in tortoiseshell. And part of the presentation, we get a really nice certificate of warranty. Or certificate, yeah, or certificate of authenticity, I should say. And you have got uh, the managing director here, which I will just take out. So James Bodie. It's signed by the company director, and then you get your limited edition number, as well as uh, the date of your purchase and the actual name of the pen. So let's just put that back in there. And one thing which you will notice straight away is this really beautiful box. Although there's no branding on the outside, it really is a, a piece of art in itself. Now these boxes do come in a variety of two different boxes. And I have to say, I really like this version. It's a, such a beautifully lacquered box. We then get some protective material. And then we get a velvet pen pouch with the Anoto brand on there as you can see. And then if we take the pen out very quickly, we'll have a look at the pen in some closer details. There we go. And there's the pen. Looking absolutely fantastic. Okay, so let's take off the contents of the box. So underneath the lid, the pen pillow, we've got some various accoutrements. We've got the hallmarks, which is really interesting. We've got the maker's mark, the sterling mark, the finesse mark, the SA mark, and the date letter. So lots of information on here, lots of history about hallmarking, which I think is really nice. 
And it's quite worth um, noting that these pens are actually made by jewellers. Well, the actual rings are made by jewellers, so you're getting really high quality sterling silver work on there. Now, I don't believe the actual clip itself is sterling silver, but all the rest of the appointments on here are. So well, let's carry on. Then we get a little brochure about how to care for your pen. We get a little business card. And then last but not least, we've got a polishing cloth. So you do get quite a lot of various little bits of details for your money, which is nice, especially when you um, look at the price of this pen, which is what we'll talk about now. So this pen retails on Colt Pens for £459. You can get yourself 10% off with my discount code, which will take off £45 and 9 pence, I believe, if my maths is correct. Do correct me if I'm wrong. And I think you do get quite a lot for your money. So let's take the pen out. We'll cut back to my face and then we will talk a little bit more about this pen in detail. Right, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're going to do is I'm going to provide you with the dimensions of this pen. Wonderful. Okay, so as usual, we'll start from the top of the pen and we'll work our way down to the bottom. So the Anoto Magna Classic. We've got the Anoto logo, which is really, really nicely done in this little emblem on the top of the finial. Then we have got this black section on the finial top with a gold ring, which is attached to the clip. And then on the clip, we have got a Noto rebranded on there as well. And these are really, really beautifully um, made clips, I have to say. They are very much in keeping to the original clips, which you would find on a Noto Magna Classics and all the other Delarue pens. And then we have got three sterling silver rings on the actual center, with the center one having the hallmarks on there and slightly wider than the other two steps down onto the main part of the barrel and then on the bottom we have got another sterling silver polished finial underneath the actual hood we are presented with a number seven that's right a number seven steel nib in duotone and this one i believe is a medium nib underneath we have got a plastic feed and then we have got a very very comfortable grip with um, a nice little raised um, collar section here just to prevent your finger slipping onto the actual nib itself. Underneath the actual barrel we are presented with some very very smooth threads and we have got a international cartridge converter with no branding on there, very surprising. Okay so let's put that all back on. On the actual main barrel it should be noted that we have also got the Anoto branding in there and that is nicely stamped in there. Very, very crisp and very, very beautifully done. Now let's just talk a little bit about this material. So this is a tortoiseshell material and we are getting some specks of brown and lighter yellows in here. And it's very translucent actually. You can see quite a lot of depth through this actual material, including some of the threading which is on the top. That might be something which you like it might be something which you might not like. And I wish it was slightly more chatoyant, but we'll talk a bit more about that in the pros and cons in a moment. So that's the pen in general. Let's go on to doing a writing sample, then we'll do a size comparison, and then I'll give you my final thoughts and feelings on this pen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what we have here is the Anoto. Yeah, Noto Magna Classic, and this is in tortoise shell, so. Okay, wonderful. The ink we have got in here today, oh, actually, before we talk about the ink, we have got a medium steel nib. And it's number seven. And I think Bok actually makes these nibs, if I'm not mistaken. 
But these, are, I think, are made specifically for a Noto, and it is a very, very nice nib indeed. The ink in here is Diamine Ancient Copper. Which I think is a very fitting ink. We'll write out the quick brown fox next. Sorry about that. And that wasn't a skip, that's just my angling of the nib. So let's have a look at this nib in terms of its flow. Yeah, it's not too bad. Now the paper we are using today is a Yush's um, paper and it works really lovely with fountain pens I've found. And it still shows off um, some of the flow. So that was one pass, we'll do another pass. There we go, just a little bit wetter. In terms of line variation, you can squeeze out a little, little bit of uh, variation, just a smidge. What tends to happen is it just shows a little bit more um, richness in the ink, as you can see just down at the bottom here. In terms of print, which I think I might try and introduce a little bit more into the video, this is a test. Works wonderfully. And I'd say it actually shows off the quality of this ancient copper, possibly even better than writing in cursive, which I still need to get better at. So apologies about that. Okay, in terms of reverse writing, Yep, it reverses the rights and you go to almost like a, an extra, extra, extra fine. So what we'll now do is we'll now go on to um, doing a size comparison and then I'll give you my final thoughts and feelings. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so from left to right, we have got a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande in Arco. Then we've got the Anoto Magna Classic in Tordeshell. Then we've got a... Iboya Hecabone from Boca Mondo Studios, which is coming up for review, and that's, I believe, in Hakimi Nuri. And then we've got a Wet n Wise Tamanuri Studios in Koronuri. Then we have got an Akaya in the Piccolo size, which is finished with the Midori Tamanuri. And then we have got, last but not least, a Pelican M200 in the Gold Swirls. So let's get these uncapped and have a look at these in comparison. And there we go. So despite having a number seven size nib, when you start looking at um, the box number sixes, it doesn't actually look all that much bigger. Uh, Maybe a little bit wider, but in terms of the actual length of it, sorry, in terms of the width of it, it's definitely quite comparable to the other box nibs which we've got there. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just an observation. And then if we start looking down at the other sides of the actual range with the Nakaya and the Pelican, it is considerably bigger. Having said that, it is a little bit more slender than the Yaboya, uh, which is quite interesting, even though this is considered quite a large pen. And if we just move the Yaboya for one sec and then put it next to the M200, you can see that it is a bit girthier, um, certainly on the actual grip and certainly in terms of length. Okay, so join me in my final thoughts next and I shall see you in a sec.
Right, ladies and gentlemen, so the Enoto Magna Classic Tortoise Shell, what do I think? Well, this is where things get a little bit polarizing. Okay, so we have got a very beautifully presented pen. And one thing which I didn't mention earlier is that you do get a nice little handwritten envelope with a handwritten card right from the director or sorry, from the, the chairman of James Bodie. So dear Andrew, may you enjoy writing with your Anoto Magna Classic uh, tortoise shell fountain pen with best wishes, James Bodie, um, chairman. And then it's um, dated and they come from Norwich, interestingly. So I believe they were all made in Norwich, which is lovely, absolutely lovely. So that is fantastic. So what are you getting for your 459 pounds? Well, you're getting presentation, you're buying into this custodianship idea from a note where you don't truly own the pen, you're passing it down from generation to generation. And I think that's really charming. I think there's a lot to love about the pen. Now, if we actually have a look at the presentation once again, you are getting a fantastic lacquered box and oh, it is just so beautiful. You can actually buy these boxes separately if you so wish as well, which is fantastic. Um, it will come with the Anoto branding in there, but you know, if you are after something nice and you are buying yourself a little bespoke pen and you want a nice presentation, you know what? It's a pretty good um, price to be honest for what you pay for the actual box, or you could get an Arushi lacquered one. Yes, a bit biased to Arushi lacquer. Now I'll bring that up again in a moment. Okay, so the pen itself, so I'd like you to go and check out um, Gary's website, uh, which is dapperman.net, I believe. I'll put the details in the um, description below because he does write some absolutely fantastic um, articles. And he also gave me some very insightful information on the pen itself. So thank you, Gary, for that uh, very long telephone call. It was very, very useful. And there's a few snippets of information which I wanted to actually put into this review. So, on the finial, we get the, the Anoto um, branding and the trim and fit and finish of this is just, it's flawless, to be honest. What I really, really do appreciate though is the nib. Be it steel or be it gold, it is tuned to perfection. You know that if you're gonna buy yourself an Anoto, it's gonna write out of the box. And you know what? I'll stake my very, small reputation on this because this really is a, a sublime writer and if you had a problem with uh, an Anoto I would be really highly surprised and I'll eat my hat not that I'm actually wearing a hat but I'll eat it or I'd attempt to eat it <laughs> um, in terms of the finish it's lovely the um, classic tortoise shell isn't necessarily something which um, I have enjoyed perhaps as much as I thought I would if I'm brutally honest and if I was to go and buy one, I'd certainly go to a pen show and actually check out the range in person. I, I like the tortoise shell material and it's got this almost like um, koi finish to it with uh, some very nice yellows in there. There's a little bit of chatoyancy um, further down in the pen as I turn it around. And it is a very classic um, pen. There are a huge, huge, huge range of different uh, trims and finishes um, celebrating prominent figures throughout history of, well, particularly UK history. You've got um, the Winston Churchill collection, you've got also the uh, William Shakespeare collection, and then you've got um, a couple of pen ranges celebrating, I believe, both Oxford and Cambridge University as well. So there's lots of um, homage pens out there as well. And they all do look absolutely wonderful. But in terms of Anoto's uh, sort of um, prestige, I think this one really hits home the closest and it really is a really wonderful shout to the previous uh, generation of Anoto pens. So for £459, it is a polarising price and one which you have to really love to actually buy. Now, Gary has reliably informed me that if you do go to a pen show, it's quite likely that you're going to get yourself and a noto at a show price, which might reduce the pen by a significant um, amount. Having said that, if you're impatient and you do want to go and get one, I would certainly recommend going to Colt Pens here in the UK and placing an order. Um, you can get yourself 10% discount and that will get you a nice 45 pounds off this pen, uh, or 45 pounds and nine pence, I should say. So that does bring down the price of the point, sorry, bring down the price point of this pen by a significant amount. And currently you can get yourself a free bottle of ink. So that is wonderful. So yes, 
£459 pounds is a lot of money, but if it's something which you're willing to spend on and you're really wanting to buy into that sort of idea of a note being passed down from family member to family member, then this is certainly something for you. But we also have to bear in mind that for about the same price, you can get yourself a, an Arushi pen from Bogomondo um, with an Aboya, and this is coming up for review very soon, with a gold nib for um, a little bit less, actually, than what I've, uh, you would spend on an, an Anoto. But then that's my own personal sort of, uh, <laughs> my own personal sort of thoughts and feelings. As ever, you know, you can disagree with what I'm saying and that's perfectly okay, but just be completely pleasant about it. And uh, do leave me some comments in the section below. What do you think of the pen? Do you think it's worth 459 pounds? And I'd be really interested to actually read your responses. Now, before I do sign off on this video, it is worth noting that if you go onto a notice website, there is a number of different options you can actually get um, put onto the pen. You can get a weight put in there, you can get a rollable compatible kit, and you can also get a plunger system, as well as an 18 karat gold nib. So there is a ton of options you can put on here, but it is gonna quickly um, start raising up the price. And that might be something which you enjoy, it might be something which you can't afford. So I'll leave that entirely up to you. But anyway, thank you for listening to me rant and ramble on today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do consider giving it a like and um, also do consider giving me a subscription as well. It's, um, it always uh, is a, a wonderful thing to be able to see new people on the channel. So thank you once again and until the next video, stay safe and goodbye for now.